In this video, we're going to explore how we can use the cursor property. And the cursor property is basically the way how we can give certain uh, design for the mouse. So if you can see here, the moment I hover over the text, we have here a auto cursor. And then the moment we, we are close to a button, or, or not even a button, but a link, because a button will not get a design. But when we have on a link, you will see the link will have a pointer cursor. And of course, so you have multiple options. For example, if something's loading, you will see a loading cursor, etc., etc. So how can we do that? So let's play around with it. So we're going to create here a few options. So what I'm going to do here is on our card, we have we have multiple cards here, and what we can do is probably use some of the designs here. So we have this button here. What we can do is here on the card. What I will do is I will remove all the excess items we have so far. We don't need everything. And the only thing what I do want is these cards here. I'm going to put in a total of three cards. Here, I'm going to remove all the excess text. And what we will do is, this will be the card help, the card pointer. And here we will have the card auto basically. So what will happen is the moment we hover over this specific card, we want to have a certain design of our mouse. So let's look at how we can use that with the cursor. All we can do is this. So we say here, let's get the specific class name. We can say here to be very specific, div dot card and then dot help. And in here we can say cursor. Now here we can say the help. Then we have another one. Cursor, uh, what is this? The pointer. And this will be specifically pointer class. And then finally, we have the cursor auto. And we can put it here on auto. So once we save this, you will see here now we have three different cards. And can we maybe readjust the height of the card? I'm not certain of that. Let's see here, card has a specific height. I'll just remove the height here. So they're all more closer. All right, so pay attention to the, to the mouse here right now. So the moment I go over here, you can see now, it's still clickable, it's just reacting as a normal mouse. But here we have the help section here. You can imagine here would be a button with help, or an icon with the help. And if you would hover over it, it would you'd be clicking on it, maybe give some info about what to do. So if we go here to the next one, you can see now it looks like a clickable button, but it's not. And the reason why it's because that's like the link here, it converts the cursor into a pointer. And finally, we have here, we have here the auto, or the auto is basically by default, and we could even get this here, but I guess this is not responding. What we could do here is, for example, load. Then the moment here on here, starts to load. So oh, let me double check what's the official term for that. Sorry, it's the official term is wait. So you can save this. And then here, as you can see now, it looks like it's still loading something. We're waiting for something where it's not. And then I guess that we should, instead of auto, it should be text here. If we can see here, will this be text? Yes, there you are. So the moment this is becoming text like here, similar to this here. But you can see here, this is still padding. And normally we shouldn't see it. And then we can see here, here, and then this is the text here. Start to respond as this is a text part. That's basically built in most of the items and an auto is by default is the standard settings which would be automatic whatever it becomes the moment if you refresh you can see here and automatically will adjust this because this sees here this as text so this is a default setting what we have and this is the cursor property that you can use to play and there are so many more what you can use although most of them will not not be that useful or necessary unless you have something very specific. However, these are quite common ones that you might see. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this, make sure you put them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here. You will probably enjoy this as well.